Um, in this tutorial, uh, it's a continuation from the custom validation tutorial. There was one thing that I forgot to let you guys know, and that is about uh, hints. Um, for example, if if uh, you want to let your user know what format you have set, then you can create a hint and let's go back to custom and let's say we create a pattern that is actually let's do this let's say um, email inside the hint we can say username at your domain.com and we save that and we run it and this will pop up inside of the text field as soon as the page loads and then when you click inside it it will disappear so hints are a good way to let your users know what they're going to be entering and what uh, I guess exactly the the format that they're going to be entering that in um, sorry I forgot to include that in the last tutorial but hopefully uh, hopefully you guys understand everything that's going on inside of the spry text field validation uh, definitely the the one with the most content in it and uh, as we continue to check out all of the other spry validations you will definitely find it super easy compared to uh, compared to the spry text field because the spry text field is definitely uh, definitely the most involved validation so I look forward to teaching the rest of this for you, to you guys um, after we get done with checking out all this spry validation we are going to be looking at some more even cooler stuff that we can do with uh, these spry elements so I continue to watch and I will continue to teach you about spry validation